Hello viewers, meet Aisha. She's describing her dance teacher to her parents. Pay attention to specific information she gives. Identify the answer while you listen. My teacher is 29 years old. She was dancing since the age of five and she had performed her first dance on stage at the age of seven. She has a dance school with 10 children and I would like to join the Friday afternoon class. The correct answers are she was dancing since the age of five and she had performed her first dance on stage at the age of seven. She has a dance school with 10 children and I would like to join the Friday afternoon class. Let's practice listening for specific information one more time. In each case, listen for the right answer. Right, everyone. Open your book on page 25. No, sorry, page 135. You have 15 minutes to complete exercise 7 in your copy book. Here are the answers. Open your book on page 135. You have 15 minutes. Complete exercise 7. How do you check if you have heard well? Here are some ways to check if you have heard correctly. You can ask questions. Did you say page 7 or 11? You can also repeat the information to get confirmation. For example, we have 15 minutes. Let's look at an example. Look at how information is shared. Who is coming for my birthday party? I am not sure. Daniel is coming, but he will leave early. Ling is unsure. It starts at 5, so it should be okay. No, it starts at 3. You're such a bad listener. You had better not miss it because... I will not. Is it on Wednesday or Thursday? It's on Thursday. Oh, I'm sorry. I've told them the wrong day and time. I hope you don't do that someday. It's best to verify by asking questions or repeating the information to get confirmation. Time to try a more difficult task. Listen to the following and complete the closeness with the right information or words. Ready? Grab a pen and a piece of paper to jot down your answers. The benefits of getting along with your teacher. Sure, it's good to get along with your teacher because it makes the time spent in the classroom more pleasant. And yes, you learn how to relate to the different types of people. Let's look at the answers. Sure, it's good to get along with your teacher because it makes the time spent in the classroom more pleasant. And yes, you learn how to relate to the different types of people. What does getting along mean? It means that you two communicate in a way that works for each of you. You are attentive, respectful and learning full-heartedly. Your teacher is respectful towards you 
answers your questions and helps you learn. Teachers and students sometimes have personality clashes. But if you show that you want to improve the relationship, your teacher will do the same. Let's look at the answers now. What does getting along mean? It means that you two communicate in a way that works for each of you. You are attentive, respectful and learning full-heartedly. Your teacher is respectful towards you, answers your questions and helps you learn. Teachers and students sometimes have personality clashes. For a final round, listen to this clip. Answer the questions at the end. Age UK is here today because we want to draw attention to the issue of loneliness in later life. More than a million older people say that they go for more than a month without speaking to a friend or family member. We've created this snow globe to draw attention to the way in which older people are isolated. Now, see if you can answer these questions. This advert is about A. People celebrating New Year or B. Old people staying alone during Christmas. Answer is B. Old people have often gone for a whole month without talking to anyone. False or true? Answer is true. A snow globe was used to make A. People feel like they were in the North Pole or B. People feel how the elderly can feel isolated? Answer is B. You deserve an applause today. That was a lot of practice. Just remember to ask questions or to repeat the information if ever you're unsure regarding whatever you've heard. So I leave you here for now. Goodbye.